another in a rash of head funds doing this, Hema. Is it just that macro strategies are too difficult these days? So we've seen macro struggle for a number of years. A lot of the big name titans that were once you know, highly reputed in the industry are struggling. And you're seeing that, um, I think, again, here with Lewis Bacon and his, his uh, hedge fund More Capital. They really haven't performed too well in any of their funds so far this year. And it's been a struggle for, uh, for a couple of years. They've had to bring down their fees. They've seen uh, redemptions and, and assets as a whole for the firm really come down over the past few years. And so, um, you know, returning client capital may be one way uh, to kind of deal, deal with the situation. Another one bites the dust, Hammer. Mm -hmm. I, the, the big names just keep on tumbling. What does it mean for those that are left behind? You know, it's a difficult environment right now with interest rates so low, especially for the macro space. Um, so we're going to be watching closely to see how the, the macro funds that are that are continue to be out there perform. What this means for um, the space in general, too, is we're seeing you know a lot of competition when it comes to talent. And that's one of the things that Lewis Bacon alluded to in his uh, letter to investors. Um, and also pressure on fees as, as the pressure really grows on the space, but specifically for this kind of strategy. Now, let's just go through the records a little bit. He's done pretty well, right, for clients? Historically, yeah. He, he had produced annualized gains of up to 30%. Um, but for the, the, the fund that he mainly oversees and then for the fund that um, is run by a group of his portfolio managers, uh, separately, that doesn't include him. Both of those, the, for the first one, about flat year to date. The second, um, about up two percent, which really isn't that impressive uh, for investors who are getting, you know, double-digit returns elsewhere in the market. Presumably, this is also part of the rise of, of CTAs. This is part of the rise of algorithmic trading. Mm -hmm. I, is there a sense in the industry that we ever go back to a time when you have these sort of these titans of an in, uh, of an industry? In the future, the computers are going to be driving everything. Do we ever go back to a time when Lewis Bacon is, 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 is a god on Wall Street? I think that's a really interesting point because you do see a lot of assets flowing to um, ETFs and other sort of um, those kinds of strategies. You also see um, a lot of funds really revamping themselves to include uh, data-driven sciences, to include um, algorithmic, computer-driven sort of ways of investing. And funds that may not be doing that may be left behind. Um, you're seeing investors really interested in quantitative funds and really kind of the future of that space. Um, and I think perhaps, you know, the days of just old school fundamental, fundamental trading um, to the extent uh, that, you know, that that's all that's, that's being done uh, may, may be feeling that pressure as well too.